Hello everybody, it's Kree Rama, and I'm here today with one of my favorite things to do, which is making paper dolls. If you know me from Junk Journal Divas, you know that almost every project that I do, I have to incorporate paper dolls in some manner. I just think that they're so fun, and I love making them. When I'm in between projects or don't know what to do, if I need inspiration on a project, a lot of times I just make paper dolls and I just go from there. So what I wanna show you is some of the paper dolls that I've made. And I wanted to give some different tips and tricks if you're new to this, ways that you can make them that you don't have to buy digitals. There's a lot of different ways to make these and so that's what I wanna show you today. This is going to be my September um, project for Diva Delights in my Facebook group, Junk Journal Divas. We're gonna be all things with paper dolls. And just a little bit about my Diva Delight projects. So I every month I pick a project and I try to pick one of my diva sisters that's in Junk Journal Divas with me and highlight that uh, diva friend and make something that they created that inspired me or trying a new technique or whatever it is. And then what I do is I mail some of them out to my diva sisters to inspire them. And if you can sign up for it, if you're in the group and you're interested, you can sign up for Diva Delights and it's just a monthly thing. You can send out anything that you think will inspire another diva member that is signed up for it. So that is what this project is for. This is going to be um, something that I'll be making paper dolls and sending out this month to my diva sisters. You can either create along with me and make what I'm making or you can send anything that you made that that you think will inspire another Diva Delight member. So come on over, it's a lot of fun. Most recent ones that I made and I thought I will start with these. Now, one thing that I suggest doing is if you have magazines or catalogs or if you have purchased digital kits, um, old yearbooks, anything that has um, headshots. If you cut out some faces and glue them just, you know, with a glue stick, just a dab, just to hold it in place, um, on, glue it onto a white piece of paper, and then you'll be able to photocopy it and continue to use that if you wanna make paper dolls in the future. That's a little tip that I learned. This is one that I did. It is a, a, it's a bunch of different um, digitals and I put glasses on all of them and I just thought they were silly and I wanted to save them. So this is a photocopy. And then the other thing is when you're finished with your work, like these are my latest paper dolls that I made. Um, it's a good idea to take a picture um, or, you know, photocopy them so that you have them for the future. You don't have to keep going back and making them. This is what I did, made a photocopy of these. Now I want to talk about how I made these. So I, I already talked about how I used the, all the different heads and I put glasses on them. And, like, you know, this one I put a little leaf that I made that's actually paper clay. So you can make the bodies out of anything. It does not have to look like a dress. It does not have to look like a shirt or a body. It can be a square. I will say this many times. It's my favorite thing. I love to remind people there are no rules. There are no rules to this. Just have fun. So what I used for the bodies is a die cut that I just got and it's a bottle die cut. So there's three different sizes here, you can see. And I think I just, yeah, I just used these two sizes. That's what their bodies are made out of. 
So if you have a shape that is a punch or a die cut or uh, you know something that you can just easily make a bunch of them, you could make a few paper dolls with different heads. <laughs> <laughs> got some bat wings, an image from online, googled it, and put some bat wings. I did have to cut the bat wings in half to make them stick out how I wanted. And then the boots, I collaged the same thing a whole bunch of times onto a printable sheet. And then I just printed it and assembled my paper dolls. These are from a digital kit and I just played around with heads and swapped up their heads <laughs> and gave them some glasses. Cracks me up. I think they're so much fun to make. So now I'm going to show you a whole bunch of, I've got a stack here, different ideas of paper dolls that I have made. Buy these, that it, they are articulated where you use a brad and their um, arms and legs move. These I glued down though. Whoops. But this is a kit. And then these are actually quite tall when you put them together. So if you run into that problem, you can always take a photo or photocopy them and reduce the size. And then you'll be able to cut them out and use them on a page in your project. Louisa Hensel, an idea that I got from her, which is a pull out, like a hidden, this is a hidden tag. And so you would glue this part down, slides in here into your project. So it would be a, a hidden tag. These are all pieces of paper that are jelly prints. If you are not a person who loves doing jelly printing, I will put a link for a shop where I purchased jelly prints from. And he is one of my diva sisters, um, Stephanie Zacks. And she actually inspired me to make this a Diva Delight Month project. These are her papers and they're these are great to use for paper dolls. You could just cut it into a triangle or whatever you want to do. One paper or collage them together like I did. I think this is foundry wax through a stencil. And then on the hat here. And these faces are a stamp. So the next thing I wanted to mention, sometimes if I'm making tags or something and I just assemble the paper dolls onto my tag that it's going to be on. So these are just examples. I use some fabric for the dresses here. And then some, they've got their crowns and everything. This is one that I did onto a frame. If you don't know what kind of project you wanna use them on, I suggest assemble them, assembling them onto a white piece of paper. And that way you can photocopy them. They're all put together. You can make a copy and then cut them out and use them. So I'm just gonna show you some of the ones that I did here. These are kind of silly and fun. Like this one, she has an umbrella for a skirt. These are very silly too. I love the silly ones and you all know I love glasses. I just got this um, die cut from Timu. It has some sunglasses in. So that makes it easier than trying to fussy cut those little tiny glasses out. Little house that's used for her, her torso. This one I glued a face onto a TV. Love this one with the bird cage. So 
So some last things here that I grabbed that I wanted to show. Of course, we know Tim Holtz makes paper dolls. The other thing about them is you can use your watercolor pencils or distress crayons, markers, and you could color in a little something like maybe something like the bow tie or something just to make it pop out a bit. You could also use these faces, these heads, on different projects. These are stamped images and I do have a tutorial in my playlist of making these. I think I used distress crayons and watercolors. I didn't finish these yet, but these are more that I did with the stamped face images. These are the jelly papers, jelly print papers that I bought from Steph Zach's um, Etsy shop very simple to do and then if you would want to put feet on like I said you could get um, some boots or something and photocopy it or for example I could use a one of the leg stamps that I have if you happen to have anything like that and then this girl I put one together and I think this feels like I did this on, maybe it's mixed media paper or watercolor. I'm not 100% sure here. Doesn't feel very thick though. Maybe mixed media paper because I knew I was going to do watercolor on these dolls. There's some boots. <laughs> I love these. I mean, you could, like I said, any shape that you would want to use to make the bodies for the dolls. And then you could either cut out hair, give her a hat, draw something, do some doodles on there. Get creative and just have fun. I wanted to show Steph some of the things that she sent me. She makes dolls out of tickets. So these are from also from her kit and so she sometimes will take just one ticket and cut out a head and put on it. She also has these yearbook photos. So if you would get the photos, you could always cut the heads out. Don't forget to make photocopies and then that just makes it a lot easier to make things out of them in the future. So this is another little project I can do, try her version. This is something also that she sent to me. So cute. And I love how she uses recycled materials. Like this is corrugated cardboard, just a tiny little strip. And this is to share this little piece of lace and just put a, a head on it. <laughs> and it's so cute. Popping out of the bag here. This is a tag that she sent to me that I wanted to show. And this is from one of her yearbook photos. And here you can see these are all her jelly papers. I just love them so much. I don't even want to do them myself. I just buy hers. <laughs> and here she did a collage little pieces. So I am going to put the link for Steph's shop in my video description and she is also for the whole month of September doing a 15% off. There's a coupon code in the video description if you're interested, check that out. I also have the link for my uh, playlist for all my other paper dolls that I have made. And if you're interested in making some, come over to Junk Journal Divas. I'd love to see what you're creating if you're not there with me already. And thank you so much for watching my Diva Delight project for the month of September. And for the last couple of minutes in the video, I'm going to show how I put my paper dolls together and I'll play some music for you. Thanks for watching.